Hey what's up guys, Codeforge here, welcome to the next video. Today I would like to show you how to install JetBrains Mono typeface from the JetBrains. In the first place you want to navigate to the jetbrains.com slash lp slash mono or you can also google it using the JetBrains Mono or JetBrains font keywords. After landing on this page you want to download the font by clicking the download button and before you do it you can also check out the how to install section which is over here and we'll basically follow these steps from here for the Windows host machine. Let's download it and after a few seconds it should be here. So we click save and it's done. Now we can open the archive so we want to extract all I'm gonna click extract and you can see that we have these ttf and web directories over here together with the license we want to open the first directory named ttf and over here we'll find a lot of files with this extension now to install these fonts we want to select the first one hold the shift key on the keyboard and select the last one now we want to right click it and select install or install for all of the users. We want to install it and now since I have already installed those fonts I got the message and I want to replace them so I will check the do this for all current items option and I will select yes. And after a few seconds the font should be installed. So let's wait a few seconds. and it's here okay so now we want to open android studio and if you didn't close it before installation of those phones now you want to restart it okay so i have opened the android studio and you can see that i have the default font which is the consolas and now we want to change it so we want to go to the file we want to select settings and over here we want to open the editor and select the font here we want to find font drop down menu with the consolas selected and we want to click it and look for the JetBrains mono. I will pick the default one, you can also select one of the others. And now we can see that the font over here changed and we will click apply and we will hit OK. And as we can see the font in our editor is changed. Okay guys, so this is basically it. This is how you want to install a new font for your Android Studio ID. And you can repeat these steps for any other font that you enjoy to work with. Thank you for watching. Remember about supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the videos. And see you next time. Bye.